What's up everyone? This is Dr. Webb here. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos come in every week. Also hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of these videos. I got my new shades on, my new stunner shades in the video today. So, all right, so today I'm gonna to talk about 18 hour study days in med school, what it took to be successful. I'm gonna tell you guys how I did it. Um, some strategies to be successful in your studying and, and the lengths of your study and also uh, some suggestions for you guys. So stay tuned. So 18 hour study days in med school, what it takes to be successful. I went to med school at Georgetown Medical School. Check out the video of how I got into medical school. I'll put it right up here. But in general, most medical schools, the first two years are in the classroom and third and fourth year are in the hospital. That's exactly how my medical school was set up and how most medical schools across the country are set up. For the majority of the time, I did not go to class in med school. And I'll put a video up right here about my reasons why, but I felt that I was more efficient, I can get more done, and I, I felt more accomplished if I didn't go to class and I just studied on my own. So that's what I did the majority of medical school unless it was a mandatory class, but the days that I did not go to medical school, I studied on average between 12 to 18 hours a day. It usually went as follows. So usually I got up around 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning because I wanted to be ahead of the people who were going to class. Our medical school classes started, I think around 8.30 or 9 o'clock. So I wanted to be a couple hours ahead and felt like I was doing something uh, before my classmates had already got the class and uh, started uh, going started lecture so I used to start at let's say seven o'clock in the morning and I would study up until maybe lunchtime and then take a longer break and then until dinner time and then take another longer break and then study some more after that so the way it I, I did it was I would study for 50 minutes at a time so from 7:50. 7 o'clock to 7.50, I would study uninterrupted. My phone's off, the TV's off, there's no one around that's distracting me. I would study full speed, that's 50 minutes. The next 10 minutes, I would take a break, I would get something to eat, I would stretch, I would do some push-ups, I would do anything to uh, basically take a break and relax. So. I did that from seven to let's say 12, and then 12 o'clock I would take an hour break. After that, I would do another kind of four to five hour session where I did these 50 minutes of study sessions and then a 10 minute break. And I did that maybe to let's say six, seven o'clock at night. At 7 p.m., I then went to the gym and I, on the way to the gym, I would listen to audio, some class lecture, but I would run to the gym because my gym at med school uh, was maybe 15 minute walk from my, where I stayed. And then I would do a really efficient workout uh, for let's say 45 to uh, 50 minutes. After that, I would go back home and then I would study, let's say starting at eight o'clock and I would study until maybe 10 or 11. So, and that's the process I, repeated throughout medical school and that's how I felt like I was efficient and I was successful uh, in medical school because of that you have to be very structured you have to have things written down that you need to accomplish before you start your day so before I even started studying or sat down I knew exactly what I was going to study that day and then I think the best way to do it is reinforce what you're learning with questions, with practice questions. So at the end of my night, I always ended my night with practice questions. I'm not here to say that 
this is how it went every single day. I had some ups and downs. Some days were better, some days were um, uh, worse, but for the majority of the time in med school, this is how I studied and this is how uh, I was successful. So I think the key is to take frequent breaks. You have to be a very efficient during those blocks of studying. Take efficient breaks as well as reinforce that information with questions. If you had to, if I had to do this all over again this day, I don't think I'll be able to do it. Um, I think as I went through the years, I think I can study a lot less. Um, I don't think I can study as long um, as I did in med school, but um, as you go through the years also, you'll be more efficient. You'll be able to read, let's say four or five chapters in a couple minutes or let's say 45 minutes and then know exactly or pretty much close what's going to be on the exam. So that efficiency does get better with time. So 12 to 18 hours days, I, I studied longer on the 18 hour spectrum, closer to exams or closer to step one, step two, and then usually on average about 12 hours a day on a regular day when I didn't have to go to class. So. This is Dr. Webb. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe. New videos coming every week. You don't want to miss them. Also hit the bell notification so you don't miss any videos that I post and put out every week. There's an email link in the description below. If you want updates from me, tips, suggestions, recommendations from Dr. Webb um, to be successful in, in reaching your goals, make sure you click on that link and enter your email address so we can stay in touch. Thank you guys and uh, we'll see you next time.